What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am currently in the city of Purwandiro and I am currently gonna show you guys where I upload my videos. But right now I wanted to show you guys just one of the few, I'm talking one of the few markets where you could get um, pretty much legit copies, you know. Copyright doesn't exist in Mexico, so you know, FBI, pff, none of that exists. BDRs is all the hype, Blu-ray are, Blu-ray recordables. This is it. This is the hype where it's all at. DVDRs, CDRs right here, and we got DVDRs right here. Really cool stuff if you're into entertainment. Like, uh, kid you not. I mean, obviously it's n nothing's original, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you might be able to get some samples. I I don't know. That's a copy. I mean, and it's digital, so it's. Not bad, right? So I'm gonna actually stack up on a few of these. There's uh, currently a, a spot like this uh, in my town, so I'm actually gonna be recording that tonight. And I am gonna be buying a lot of like fake CDs, fake DVDs, fake Blu-rays for that matter. I don't know if they have Blu-rays over there, but I guess they do have Blu-rays here. And these Blu-rays look pretty um, pretty appealing, if my in my opinion. It's, they're all in Spanish, like we're in Mexico, obviously. That's a uh, preferred language, <laughs> but yeah. Look at that, Disney's Pixar's. If you know, you know, Disney Pixar. A lot of cool stuff, THX digitally mastered. I don't know, man. We're gonna have to see what's up. Catch you guys in the next clip, see ya. All right guys, so I am currently at a computer because it's kind of hard to get computers here in Mexico. Not really, but it's hard, it's hard to access a nice working computer since a lot of people are broke here basically everyone's broke you can't really afford a two thousand two thousand five hundred dollar computer which translates to about like what forty thousand pesos no nope, i don't think anyone could pretty much afford that unless you're a professional and wait till you guys see the setup Ooh, wait till you guys see it oh my god you guys are gonna it's gonna oh oh we have to uninstall a bunch of program because if you know you know come on take a look at that come on who, who needs that who who needs that Look at these computers, man. Like, top of the line. Ooh, LAN party where? LAN party's, LAN party's here. This is fun, actually. So, we're actually gonna be uploading a video right now and I'm gonna show you guys how, how it looks like right here. Especially on this aspect ratio. I think this is like a, I think this is a four by three a monitor. Yeah, really old school VGA, I think. But, man, it'll get the job done. As long as I have my video up, I'm not gonna complain. As long as you guys see this, I'm happy. And you guys are happy, so, yeah. It's a win-win situation, so I'll catch you guys right now when I upload the video. All right, guys, so we are uploading a video right now. As you can see, we got, we've got YouTube MX, nice and handy. Anyways, we got YouTube MX right here. We got our video uploading. Make sure you guys check it out, and yeah. Go like my Facebook page if you guys haven't already. It's at Dizzy Panda. Or you could just look up my name, but this is my page right here. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. But pretty interesting stuff. I like my my art right here. Anyways, on to the vlog. What is up, guys? It's currently another day now, and today I'm actually going to go to the theaters. Really, really excited. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to record the uh, market that I wanted to show you guys. Um, that 
that place that I was that I pretty much showed you in the previous clips. Um, there was one in my town, and it already left because the fair is pretty much over. It only lasts three days, and yeah, the people were pretty much packing up uh, and they're leaving. So I didn't get to record that last night. So I'm sorry. But now we are gonna go to a bigger city than the ones I've showed you in any vlog. It's the biggest city that I've. I'm pretty much gonna vlog for right now, but I do want to vlog a better a bigger city such as like Morelia or Mexico City But once I get into those cities, I will you you guys will notice it is a city. So yeah guys We're gonna go check out pretty much the mall because that's where the theater is. We're gonna check out the mall We're gonna probably eat some Burger King. I think there's a Burger King there. So yeah, some American food for, for Us being in Mexico pretty crazy pretty good. It actually tastes exactly the same because I did try it like last year so we're going to go ahead and relapse on that Burger King, and we're going to go ahead and record that. You guys heard the truck start. We're going to get on our way, so I'll catch you guys when I'm over there. Peace. Alright, so what is up guys? We are actually here at the theaters. Uh, it's gonna open in 40 minutes. Uh, it's pretty much closed right now. As you can see there, the lights aren't on, but the lights usually are on. Right now we're just gonna be exploring the mall. Pretty nice. Feels kind of weird being in a Mexican mall, but uh, I don't know, it's a mall. You gotta shop, right? Uh, so right here we have a store called Suburbia. Uh, a lot of stuff, clothes. Reminds me like a, it reminds me of like a JC Penny sorta for some reason. Got a lot of clothes. They even have motorcycles. They have motorcycles right next to clothes. That's kind of weird, but I lost my cousin, so I gotta go find him right now. I don't know how the quality goes as for like clothes. It should be pretty decent because this is a like a, this is like a how do I say a, a more premium choice. Like more expensive choice so i'm pretty sure the clothes are gonna be pretty good and they have strollers right here for sale they even got escalators um feels pretty good in my opinion escalators yeah Escal hooray for escalators right so let's go upstairs now we have jeans for what twenty dollars basically because um a dollar is pretty much like around 20 pesos so $20 jeans, they stretch. Um, I'm not a fan of stretchy jeans. We finally reached upstairs. We've got uh, bikes, furniture for sale, uh, home, home stuff. Yes, sir. So I guess they're going over steals, I guess. Talking about some brands. Yeah, 50% uh, discount. Clothes, baby clothes, kids clothes, not baby clothes. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could say baby clothes. Kids clothes, we got shoes over here. Ooh, we have like some holographic boots. Nice, holographic. I like this. And this, pretty nice. I don't, I don't really hear of these brands over there. Established 1976 weekend. Looks like a decent brand. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it's worth the money, in my opinion. At least you know the fabric is on point. Uh, let me see, polos for what? 228. Made of cotton. That's right. I man, this store is a steal, man. So we came to our favorite spot, the electronics store. Or electronic section, I mean. And we got a bunch of speakers right here. Uh, ooh, that Sony looks nice. So does that LG. Uh, we got some Explode subwoofers right here. 
we have some DVD players, probably Blu-ray players, yeah, Blu-ray 3D, 4K, um, they're not 4K players, they're actually just Blu-ray 3D players, but they're up, they could upscale to 4K, so it's not a 4K HDR player, um, you know, you guys know the standards, and the, they, they apparently don't have the standards here, it's all good though, I guess, we got some laptops right here, uh, well, what else, we got, um, TVs on, on deck, we got JVCs on deck, 4K, Ultra High Def, Sony, LG, TLC, or TCL, not TLC, that's the channel. <laughs> Nerf X Fortnite, as well as we got some car stereos over here. Oh, we got a double den right here. Pretty nice, but Alpine's better, if you know, you know. Some stereos. Uh, I don't know why they'd have toys right next to electronics. Kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't. I, I, I actually would, in my opinion. I actually would put them together because look at that Monopoly Fortnite. Woo! Nice. All right, guys. So we found a sneaker store. Yes, sir. We found a sneaker store right here. Uh, we got a wide variety of Puma, Nike, and Adidas for that matter. Let me go ahead and check out some of the Nike shoes. Uh, so this is the wall of Nike shoes. Uh, I think these are pretty nice. Some Nike running. Pretty cool. Uh, over here we got the Ferrari Pumas uh, A lot a lot of Mexicans like to wear these for some reason. I don't know why it's probably the Ferrari hype for some reason I Guess Ferrari Ferrari hype. I don't know man We have some Nike SB shirts pretty dope And we have some official soccer jerseys Some Pumas dry fit uh, Cruz Azul whoever those whoever like soccer pretty nice I want to check how much these are. 1500 Not bad. It's like around 75 bucks. I'd say it's worth it. Uh, you should, I think the price is, the price is pretty much the same. I mean, it's just that the selection is probably a little bit different. As you guys saw the, um, the Nike shoes, um, they're not like Air Maxes or Air Forces. But, I mean, they're still going to get the job done. They're legit Nike shoes because over there in the market, like uh, in my previous videos, I don't know if you guys seen, like it's a lot of little markets. And you know, you, you already know what the heck goes down in those little markets. None of these shoes are legit, but I mean right here they are. That's why the price is that's why the pricing is pretty much the same. We got the Balenciagas over here. As well as the Yeezys up here. Pretty dope. Rob Deerdeck. Yes sir. Rob Deerdeck taught me well. I used to have a lot of Rob Deerdeck shoes, but they were actually the really chubby ones. Like this is nothing compared to the other ones. So we are outside, apparently there's a bank right here. There's also another big store. I think this one's actually bigger than the last one that we were in. So we're about to check this one out. This one has a lot more electronic stuff, so I'm pretty excited for that. However, the electronic stuff isn't as good. But anyways, I'll show you guys. Like I said, the technology here is trash. Take a look at that, Soundstream. Yeah, I don't know about sound, I don't know about Soundstream or Dual. I would not recommend that at all. Right here we got some Soundstream, uh, Jensen's radios, a Duel, yeah, none of this stuff's good. Um, if anything, Sony, I guess. But yeah, we got a Sony amp, but you know, Alpine's the way to go. Don't you guys miss arcades? So I guess there's an arcade in the mall, which is pretty, pretty dope in my opinion. Right here we got lots of games. Uh, apparently there's an inflatable for kids, but uh, I'm all about those games and uh, winning tickets, right? Like everyone else, like, I think they have laser tag right here. Pretty dope, laser tag. Uh, we got foosball, classic game, foosball. Cla all right guys, so we're purchasing our tickets to Star Wars. Uh, apparently there's a epilepsy, epilepsy warning and right here we got um, this, the movies that are available at this theater. We got Frozen 2, Jumanji, uh, they're they're all in Spanish. They are, they actually like they don't put subtitles. It's actually like literally in Spanish, and that's what's pretty cool. I, I really like that. I'd imagine any theater in any country would have that as their main you know language. It's just better to bring more people. I mean, like if you're making a movie, like might as well just hire those extra people that are gonna talk that um, language, you know, and you're just gonna bring in more revenue. I, I'd say that's the best way to go. But I mean, I don't make movies. I make videos. Kind of different, but kind of same. We came to a bookstore. This bookstore is pretty dope. It's got a wide variety of books. 
to choose from. I kind of feel like taking this um, Steve Jobs book just so I could strengthen my Spanish. So I think I'm actually going to pull the trigger because I do need to straighten up that Spanish. I mean, I have it in my bloods, but still, like, you know, it's always good to refresh. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end up buying it. Now we're going to go eat. Catch it when I go there. some American food and yes yes it did have pineapple you you saw that correctly pineapple definitely goes on hamburgers as you guys can see you can actually order pineapple to be pretty much in your burger like I think why do why doesn't any Burger King do that like why doesn't Carlos Jr. do that what is it why don't these restaurants like do that over there in the United States and they do it here like why come on explain bro I'll pay for it I'll pay for that that's like if you add avocado to your burger. It's like same thing, bro. I, I would want to add pineapple. Pineapple's good. All right, guys. So we are gonna check out the brand new Star Wars. I'm pretty excited to be honest because uh, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. But ever since Disney bought uh, Lucas Arts, it's let's be honest. It's not been the same. But you know the loyalty's still there. So I have to finish this series, man. I I just have to. The end of the saga, or whatever. We're gonna go check out this movie. It's open right now. We're gonna buy some popcorn, let's go. But I'm gonna leave my camera because I can't walk in there with it. Obviously they're gonna think I'm gonna record the film, but I'm not. So, I'm gonna hide this and I'll catch you guys when the movie's over. See ya. Well, I'll give you guys my, my honest opinion as soon as I walk out, so. Yeah, you guys, could, you guys will probably tell by my face in the next clip, so. All right. See you guys. I honestly don't know what to say about the movie, to, guys. It is pretty insane. I mean, I know that Disney handled the, the movie and whatnot, but I don't know, man. There's a lot of plot twists. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but you guys should definitely, definitely watch Star Wars if you guys aren't a fan. But yeah, man, it, I, I'm not going to spoil anything. You know, just go ahead and watch it. If you don't even like Star Wars, I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. The visual effects are really nice. Definitely, definitely not what I'd expect, but I mean, at the end of the day, it was worth it. I guess the saga's come to an end now, and it's pretty great. Uh, um, I could have expected some a little bit different, maybe. If you guys go watch it towards the end, uh, never mind. I don't. I'm not even gonna say anything. Just go ahead and watch it. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue this vlog. The movie was great. Now we're gonna go see what else we do. All right, guys. So we are back. We got the book right here. And I wanted to show you guys something to wrap up this video. Take a look here. It's not on, but you guys get the picture. It's got a five, five CD player. And we have our cassette deck right here. Pretty dope stuff. And over here, we got our eight track players, if you know what I mean. This stuff is really, really old. We got an A-Track player right here. Uh, tuner right here. Volume is right here. You hear that switch? It's so, so satisfying. Apparently, it's not connected. But right here, we got AM, FM, MPX receiver, A-Track stereo recorder with a turntable on top, obviously. We got a little button right here. I'm pretty sure that's to open it. And down here we have the Panasonic, also a turntable, as well as a cassette deck right here. And we might have an 8-track player inside, I'm not too sure though. But we have a nice graphic EQ right here, pretty satisfying. Right here we got the balance of the microphone. We have volume right here, balance. What is this over here? Oh, this is the tuner. Tuner with megahertz and kilohertz, pretty nice. Over here we got a level of, uh, it says level of recording, so that's pretty nice. You could adjust your levels before you hit record. And right here we got a chromo or normal, which is for the tape, if you're, if you're rocking metal tape or if you're rocking the other, the traditional type of tape. This accepts both 30 watts, hmm, pretty, pretty nice. And we also have a realistic VHS player up here. 
yeah, it's pretty nice. HQ on screen, on screen programming, auto, auto scan. If you guys love this vintage stuff, stick around. I got a lot more to record. And if you guys like this video, drop a like. If you didn't, dislike. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.